Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus, and as most of you guys know, I'm an open server guy. Meaning I run my checkpoint firewalls on top of hardware from other vendors. So I don't use appliances. So I instead use this like servers from HP, IBM, Dell or even Cisco. More or less any sort of open servers that is supported by checkpoint from this hardware capability list. As you see here on the page. And the problem when it comes to open service is to figure out what sort of performance can I expect if I buy this type of server. So for many years Tobias Lachmann posted a list of what sort of hardware is within each checkpoint appliance. And then you could by this information at least have some sort of ID like okay if I buy this type of CPU I can expect roughly this type of performance. So more or less he put a lot of modules within a list and then just spest how many gigs of traffic will you get for, for IPS and what sort of CPU does this specific appliance box have. And Tobias list wasn't, hasn't been updated since 2015 and this was taken over by a guy called Oliver Fink that more or less updated the list until, well, when April 2020. So I created this Google spreadsheet. It's based on the information provided by Checkpoint within the appliance uh, comparison chart. So Checkpoint is providing official numbers of all the throughput and they're also stating how many cores and how much memory each appliance have. So this information is put into the spreadsheet. I have copy paste information from Lachmann's and Oliver's uh, list before. I have removed the SPUs that is no longer uh, provided by Checkpoint. So SPU was a performance metric that Checkpoint did have. Uh, but now I'm only having the model numbers, the performance throughput that is provided by Checkpoint, the core numbers, the memory and the appliance series. So the latest appliance series are called Quantum Force, before it was called Quantum Lightspeed, then it was Hyperscale. Then I have added from the previous lists, it was the 2019 appliance series, 2016 or 2012. I haven't included the oldest one because 2012 is already more than 10 years ago, they are no longer supported. It doesn't have so much benefit anymore to know it. So the information that we want to put in here is more or less the CPU uh, module and you can get that by providing this, this, uh, this command. So cat slash proc slash CPU info and then it will prompt you the CPU model number and we can add this in the spreadsheet. Currently the spreadsheet is read only. But if you leave a comment on this YouTube video, I will make sure to update the spreadsheet. I don't know if I will uh, open up the spreadsheet so more members can actually uh, comment in it directly. I don't know if it will be misused by someone. So, so we will start with just adding a comment in the, in the comment section in YouTube and I will update the list. I also wanted to highlight like this list is not provided by Checkpoint officially. So this is based from community information together with Checkpoint's official information. And new appliances, uh, it's not one to one. So if you buy the same CPU for your open server, it will not provide the same type of throughput. And the reason for this is that newer appliances they can have A6 from NVIDIA, for example, to boost performance for specific type of traffic such as firewall. So the quantum light speed, they use NVIDIA Connect X NIX, and that's an A6 that offload the CPU. So the performance metric on this will be much higher than you can get in the normal CPU. You also need to know that not everything is supported on open servers and that when I mean not everything is supported by open servers, I mean not all of the technologies are supported on open servers. So it's not sure that you will get the same throughput anyway. 
but at least it gives some hints. And when I build my open servers, this is something I use extent extensively. And I think that a lot of people or a lot of technicians will have use of this list. So I hope that we can, well, make sure to update this list for a few years to come. I will try to, to make the best. And if someone is actually already providing this information on a website, sorry, I'm not aware of it. I haven't seen it. Um, but um, I needed to have something myself. And as I have this, uh, this YouTube channel with a few subscribers, I hope that you guys can help me. Um, I will add new entries here with your with your username and the type of appliance that you provided information to if, if you want to. So um, I think that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.